In this tutorial, I will show you how to texture paint roughness maps. Now, if you'd like to learn the basics of texture painting in Blender, then I'll have a link in the description to my texture painting for beginners tutorial. And I'll also have a link in the description to my texture painting tutorial playlist where you can learn more about texture painting, like how to texture paint images with the stencil brush and how to texture paint gradients and other texture painting tutorials. So for demonstration in this video, I'm gonna be using this cube here and I just added a bevel to this cube and I'm going to add a material to this cube so that it looks like a metal cube and then we'll be texture painting the roughness. So the first step to texture painting is to add a material to the object. So I'm going to click right over here on the shading tab and in the shading workspace I'm going to click on new here to add a new material and I am going to make this a metallic material and I'm also going to make the base color here a bit darker and also in the 3d space here I'm going to hold down the Z button and go into the material preview now the next thing that we need to do is create an image to actually texture paint on so I'm going to press shift a let's go here to the search and I'm going to search for an image texture and let's drop this down here and then we want the color here to be going into the roughness because this image texture is going to control the roughness of the material and then let's click on new here to create a new image now on the name here you can just rename this so I'm just going to rename it to cube roughness and then I am going to be using a 4k texture that is pretty standard for textures so I'm going to click right here on the width drag down and then let go and this way I can change both values at the same time and I'm going to punch in 4096 and then hit enter that is the standard resolution for a 4k texture now on the color here, I actually want to change this to a mid gray color. So if I click right here on RGB, I'm going to click and then drag down and then let go. And I'm going to change this to 0.5. This way it's going to be white. And then right here, it's going to be perfectly in the middle from white to black. And this way, when we're painting, we can paint darker values, and that's going to make it more shiny. And then we can paint white values, and it's going to make it more rough. So the default will be right in the middle, the default gray. And then I can click on OK. Now, something that's really important is we need to take the color space here, and we need to change it to a non-color. And this is because this texture is just the roughness, so it's not actually contributing to the base color. It's just going into the roughness. So you need to set the color space here to non-color. All right, and then the last really important thing before you start texture painting is to UV unwrap the object. So right over here, if you go to the UV editing tab, this cube has already been UV unwrapped, but if you'd like to learn the basics of UV unwrapping in Blender, then you can check out my UV unwrapping for beginners tutorial. So just make sure you have a decent UV unwrap for texture painting. So I'm now gonna click right over here to go to the texture painting workspace, and it has taken us into the texture painting mode on this object. And then I don't wanna texture paint on the image editor, so I'm gonna drag this down and make it smaller and for texture painting I'm going to be using my Wacom pad tablet and I will have some Amazon affiliate links in the description to some different tablets that I recommend and those are affiliate links so if you purchase something through those links that'll help me out but with no extra cost to you all right, and then to actually preview the roughness in real time as we paint it, I'm gonna hold down the Z button and go into the material preview. And then if you wanna change kind of how the lighting is, you can go right over here, click on this drop down arrow, and you could like change the strength, you could also change the rotation, um, and you could also do this in the rendered view, but I'm gonna be doing this in the material preview. So what I'm gonna do is click here on the color and I'm gonna set this to fully white. And then I could also turn the strength down to maybe just a bit smaller. So now now I can go in here and I can start to paint and you can see that as we make it brighter it's going to be more rough so if I just open this up here just to show you if I open this up you can see we are painting white and so the more white it is the more rough it's going to be however if I click on the color here and make it fully black I can now just start to add black and you can see as I make it black it's going to be more shiny so it almost looks like we're polishing the metal because you can see right there, it is much more shiny now. So this is pretty cool, but I also wanna show you how you can texture paint with a noise texture to give it a cool noisy metal look. Right over here, I'm in the active tool and workspace settings. So I'm gonna go right down here and I'm gonna open up this texture tab right here. Then I can click on new to add a new texture. Now right now it's just a black texture. So I'm gonna click on this button right here and this is going to take me over to the texturing panel. Now right here on the type, we have image or movie. So if you wanted to, you could click on open and you could open a texture and then actually paint with that for the roughness. I'm gonna click on this type here and we have some different procedures 
procedural textures in Blender, I'm going to be using the procedural clouds. And this is just basically a procedural noise texture. And then I could also take the depth here and I could turn this way up. And if I turn the depth up, it's going to be much more detailed. And on the noise basis right here, there are some other settings you could play around with. I'll just leave this at the default. So now that I've set that up, I'm going to click right back up here to the active tool and workspace settings. And then if I click and drag right down here, we have some mapping. And on the mapping here, to make this more random, I'm just going to change this to random. So then before I start painting with this, I'm going to turn this up so it is much more white. So I'm going to make this pretty white. So now if I start to paint here, you can see it's actually painting with that procedural noise texture. And so it's just creating random noise all around. And that actually gives a really cool effect. It looks like a very rough metal material. But if I make this more of a darker color, just kind of like a dark gray. Now if I start to paint here, you can see it's adding that noise and it's making it more reflective. And you can see that looks like a much more realistic metal because it has all that noise there. So then once you're finished with the texture painting, it's really important to save the image because if you don't save the image to a file on your computer, then Blender's not going to save the image data. So you can click here on image and then click on save as. And I'm just going to save this as a PNG image in a folder with my files as cube roughness. And then I'm going to click on save as. All right, so we have now saved this to an image on our computer. So if we close Blender, Blender won't lose the data. So I can now just click right back over here on the shading tab and we now have this cube roughness. So that is it. That is how you texture paint roughness maps in Blender. And if you'd like to watch more of my texture painting Blender tutorials, then you can check out my texture baking tutorial playlist with the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn the basics of texture painting in Blender, then definitely check out my texture painting for beginners tutorial. And if you find these videos helpful and you'd like to help support me and this channel, I will have links in the description to my Gumroad store and my Patreon page and the YouTube memberships. And I do appreciate your support. But I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it helpful and thank you for watching.